next blessings of Surah Al-Baqarah. Al-Baqarah means cow. That's where the story of the, the, the Musa salam and the, the people, the Israel, Israel uh, the Jews is mentioned at how the Musa salam came there and how, you know, you know that entire story, how they started worshipping the calf and also the, the reference of this cow, they were told to search for this cow so that, uh, you know, that whole story of that how person got killed and this, when they sacrificed, uh, that helped him them find the culprit, the murderer, and so on. I mean, we'll discuss it some later time. But there are some specific blessings of Surah Al-Baqarah that I want to talk about. So, this particular surah, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam told, and it's recorded in Sahih Muslim, that when a person recites this surah, shaitan, or the devil, he runs away from the house where it's recited. So wherever it's recited, the shaitan runs away. The Satan, the devil, he runs away. Now, why, what, what's the problem if shaitan stays in our house? The problem is, you know, shaitan is also there in non-Muslim houses, other religion houses. Why, why should we be concerned about it? Nothing bad happens to them. Why should we be concerned? Why do we need to drive away shaitan from our houses? You know, presence of shaitan is a big problem. It's a big problem. It's, it, it causes uh, problems within the families, the fightings that happens within the families, the love decreases, and also the whisperings that shaitan cause, causes. It can, uh, you know, just not in your salah, but it might whisper you to do something wrong, something bad against somebody, and that can affect you later when you go outside of your house. And it also, if you notice, shaitan, if he is uh, there in your house, you are more prone to committing sins. That's the problem. Your iman starts decreasing very easily because shaitan should be away from you as much as possible. Guidance will again be... Uh, and also, particularly in Surah Al-Baqarah, the last two verses... Last two verses. That's the that's the whole the the, the best part of Surah Al-Baqarah. About this, so many uh, hadith are reported. So many sayings of Prophet Muhammad We find that whoever one 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 narration that I'll tell you recorded in Ibn Majah, Prophet Muhammad said that whoever recites the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, it will suffice for him. That's what he said. It will be. Sufficient. It will suffice for him. That is, he will be protected. He will be protected from all evils. He will be protected from all evils. Reciting what again? The last two verses. And this includes everything. You know, as, uh, some of our brothers are sick now. Some of us are, you know, uh, suffering from lots and lots of uh, problems in our lives. The Prophet Muhammad is helping us out here with this information, the specific blessings. He says, you will be protected from all evils. Accidents, diseases, any problems. And some might come and say, hey, brother, I recited yesterday Surah Al-Baqarah, last two verses. Look, now I am having difficult situation. Why, why did it happen to me? You know, you, we can tell them, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had destined something bigger for you, but because of what you read, it's smaller now. It's smaller, it's very small. So that's how we have to look at it. And also one more hadith that I will uh, mention uh, in Sahih Muslim. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said that, Read uh, Surah Al-Baqarah for reciting it regularly is a blessing and forsaking it is a loss, and the magicians cannot withstand it. Magicians cannot withstand it. In this part of the world, we don't really often hear about black magic and magicians. And this is very common in other countries, especially London. Subhanallah, I heard that uh, my, my teachers were telling me that so many cases of black magic and jinn possessions happen in London. It's really strange. And, and, and scholars also mention that, you know, whenever you recite these verses, especially Surah Al-Baqarah, 
really amazing things happen that, that, that uh, the effect of the black magic goes away very quickly. And, uh, you know, it, it undoes the effect. That's why the magicians are really frustrated by this, that, you know, they cannot stand it. It, it doesn't work. They're, 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 whatever they're trying to blow onto, it doesn't work. That's the effect that it has.